Hey everybody, what up? All right, so in this video, I just um, want to talk about, I got a comment, uh, some guy was saying that that uh, there's some like trend going around on YouTube where it, everybody can learn how to code. And really it's not YouTube, it was, um, I would say it goes back to like, probably I feel like around the Obama administration, like where like the government started getting involved in like more people coding. Uh, because we saw the writing on the wall, right? So, so many jobs now rely on tech and uh, if you have programming skills, I mean, obviously that's gonna be a benefit. Um, now, the thing is like, this person was like, yeah, not everybody can code because uh, most people really can't. Uh, you can learn syntax and basic tutorials, write some scripts, and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're a coder. And um, I just wanna say that I think that it like ebbs and flows. So for my 13 plus year career that I've been doing this professionally, like there, there are certain times where it feels like Nah, you know, maybe this this coding thing isn't for everybody and um, you know I've seen people that have done it for many years and it seems like they, they struggle um, And you know, it really I think boils down to um, motivation levels because I Sometimes feel like oh, yeah, you know this this coding thing How am I gonna do this when I'm 50 or 60 years old and then other times, you know I, I finish up a project I learned some new technology. I feel a little bit more motivated. And I'm like yeah, I'm gonna code every day for the rest of my life. Coding is is just a job though. It's like, I mean, if you were gonna be doing HVAC work, I mean, yeah, maybe there's one complicated ass HVAC project that didn't go as well as you'd like. I actually worked on a project one time and this goes way back, but we, like we, none of us had HVAC skills, at least running duct. And we were running duct through this, like it was like a $3 million mansion in Great Falls. And the guy actually worked for Dan Snyder, the um, Redskin person. But anyway, long story that, you know, we were all a whole team of people that didn't know what we were doing. Uh, one guy had some previous duct work uh, running. You know, like run, I mean, we were running, this thing had four or five HVAC systems running throughout the entire house, including one in the attic that ended up springing a leak from the drain plug. And it caused like massive amounts of damage because the house sat vacant for a long time. My point being is that one person could look at us there and be like, oh yeah, you know, you never, you never can run duct or something like that, but it, it, it's a job, right? So like, there's gonna be certain aspects of the job that are more difficult than others. There's gonna be certain teams that are more difficult to work with than others. You're gonna have arrogant people on certain teams that think that they're better than everybody else. Sometimes it's a motivation level. Somebody just picks up the motivation and they run with it. So if somebody's running with the project creation and making a lot of the decisions, when you start seeing that progress made early on in the project, people can really distinguish themselves and be like, oh, you know, this person definitely knows what they're doing because they're writing the most code and they're designing most aspects of this thing. Well, why? It's because they, you know, have it all in their head and they started and they ran with it. Um, and, you know, as a teammate in programming, you don't always have to be running the show. You could be another player on the team. And I think being a good programmer is actually part of that. It's, it's being a team player and it's like trying to be, trying to fit in where you can and do contributions where you can. And even if you're not running the entire show uh, as a senior dev or, you know, it doesn't really matter. Titles in programming matter less than probably other professions, in my opinion. Um, now, you can't replace experience. Experience always is very helpful, I think. So the longer you've been doing this, naturally, the, the easier it's gonna be for you to fit in uh, and contribute on any sort of team that you're on, even if you're not the main player. So I just want to say that, you know, my personal perspective on this is that, yeah, you know, maybe not everybody has the knack for coding when it comes to a motivation level and what it actually takes to be a programmer and do it day in and day out for years and years and years. Um, but I think most people do, but most people can if, if they know some basic math. I mean, we know that when we're doing web development, which is where most of the jobs are, you can make a, quite a bit of money doing web development. And you're not doing advanced math. Uh, you know, you get some lambda functions or whatever, but even then you don't have to know calculus. You get into some machine learning and stuff and, and, and it's probably good to have higher level concepts of the underlying math, but most people don't even know that either. They just know how to call functions and pass data in. And then all these, you know, data scientists and all that, you know, they're like collecting data and sorting it. And, uh, you know, it's not the, like the genius level thing that a lot of, um, I think, beginners think that it is. So my whole perspective is that anybody can learn to code and every job is not the same uh, every year is not the same that you're doing this um, your motivation levels will go up and down and i believe that that is normal and for me at 40 years old which i hate i don't know why i keep telling everybody how old i am but um 
I do feel like I can code for the next 20 years. And does that mean I can be like a Google level coder? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But uh, you don't really have to be that. Um, so I have no doubt at this point in my career that I could find employment if I needed to. I could um, do side projects and, and do some freelancing, which I don't actually recommend. Um, and not if you really want to make a, a decent living. I, I think that uh, you can really, you know, make a decent living doing that. But uh, it, from what I've seen, it's it's more difficult than simply getting your skills up to the point where somebody's going to hire you. It's best to learn on the job. Um, it's a constant learning process. So if you go into it doubting whether or not you can actually be a coder, some you know some arrogant guy said, oh yeah, you can't. Uh, or not everybody can code or this or that um, I think it's all it's just all about motivation so it's gonna take a tremendous amount of motivation and you have to keep working at it and even when you've been doing it for 10 years you're gonna continue to have to still work at it so don't burn yourself out focus on what you can control and uh, I think everybody can code if they want to